Okay, in this video, we're going to go over an example problem using a special triangle known as a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And the problem is, is this. We're going to try to figure out how tall this building is uh, in both radical form and in feet, because it's very difficult to say a building is something like radical feet high. So we're going to convert both, but we're also going to have the radical form. And here's the situation that we have, okay? We are standing here, right where it says angle of elevation. And we know that this is 30 degrees. And there's little apps you can use on your phone that could figure that out. You just point your phone, for example, at the top of a building, and it will tell you what angle you're actually looking at, all right? And in this situation, we know that it's a 30 degree angle here. Now, that automatically makes this a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle because the base is going to be the right angle, okay? The other thing that we have figured out in this problem is that let's say we just paste off and we know that there's a shadow here or that we just walked from here to here and we paste off 90 feet. And you can, again, do that pretty easily in real life, okay? What we have then is a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And remember that in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, let me just write this up here. There we go. We always know that the short side, the short leg, if we just called that x, we would know that the hypotenuse is always going to be 2x. And we know that the distance or the long leg is going to be x times radical 3. Okay? So we can just put in numbers in any of those and just fill in the other two sides immediately. Now, what do we know here? We know that the distance between here and here is 90 feet. In other words, 90 feet should be equal to the x times radical 3. So let's start filling in our information. x radical 3 should be equal to 90 feet, okay? Now, <clears throat> As in most things, we're solving for the x, right? Because the x in this case would be the height of our building, right? If we just use this example. So the x would be the height of the building. So let's solve for x. We're going to divide both sides by radical 3. There we go. Which makes this disappear. In my third step, I know that x is going to be equal to 90 divided by radical 3. Now, again, remember I said at the beginning of the problem, very few people say that the height of a building is 90 divided by radical 3 or some, you know, something similar to that. So we're going to convert 90 radical 3 to feet. But before we do that, we want to know what the radical form is that's a little bit more acceptable, right? And very rarely do people have like a radical in the denominator. So let's do that first. Let's multiply by radical 3 over radical 3. And what that does is called rationalizing the denominator. That becomes 90 radical 3. And remember that when you multiply a square root times a square root, you basically just make the square roots disappear. So you end up with... Um, radical 9 or just 3. Okay. And here I can reduce 90 over 3 to 30. Radical 3. So for the first part of our question, what is the height of this building? We would say 30 radical 3 feet high. Now to convert this, we're going to take 30 radical 3 and we're going to multiply that in our calculators. Now, I also know that radical 3 is 1.717. And that's going to be, that's going to end up with approximately 52 feet tall. And that would be my answer here. The building is about 52 feet tall. Okay, so I hope this was helpful to you. Remember that in a special right triangles of 30, 60, 90, the proportions are always the same.
So if you know one of the sides, you can actually just slot in the other tune with a little bit of algebra, figure out either side that you would like.